Um, Welcome back. Hi guys. Um, it's me, Lady Wind, playing Airless. And Tart Muse on Seor. Yay. Yay! You say that with such enthusiasm. <laughs> Yay! I'm so enthusiastic. Woo! <clears throat> Sorry for the lack of update, guys. I've just been really, really sick with a really bad cough that's like totally been kicking my throat's ass. So. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna group up, you and I. Hi, you. Hi, you. Let's go get the Datacron in the spaceport. There's a Datacron in the spaceport? There is. I'm gonna take you to all the, the Datacrons on uh, Dramandkas. Oh my god. So in addition to this being a, a fun Let's Play, it's also a Datacron guide. Yay! I like For all of guides. three people who are watching. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you, I am I am irritated by the comments that we get on all the uh, the agent videos that we've already posted so far. I like the ones on the Torian vid. It's like it's Ichigo, Ichigo. And I'm like yes, it's it's Johnny Youngbosh. I know he's voiced Ichigo and countless others. <laughs> but it, it's it's I don't know. I know they they adore that character so, but. It's still, it's like, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. My Star Wars thing is like, volume is really low. Let's get out of this stink. Whatever the rest of drumming class is like, the air has got to be fresher than in here. Uh, I'm going to escape out of this and turn up my volume. I think our volume will be fine. I just turned down FX and music and ambient. Because you guys just want to hear the voiceover, right? You don't want to hear my blaster going pew, pew, pew. No, but the latest comment was sort of like, Ugh, why why can't Vector, like, be normal? And why does the agent have such lame characters in comparison to, like, the Sith warrior who gets, like, two normal guys and two normal girls? It's like, you know, I don't think you've actually played either the warrior class or the agent class. I've played both. Yeah. You don't really get two guys as a Sith warrior S. Nor do you actually get it as a male, too, unless you're dark side, in which case you can romance Jaysa and Vet won't take it. So you can't have a twosome with them. Well, it would be threesome, actually. The menage en trois. But, but yeah, and I wouldn't count Lieutenant Pierce as a romance because it's a one-night stand. Are you serious? It's so serious. Wow. I'm going to put my subtitles on because my volume is just not... It's being dumb. Subtitles? Yeah. The way to go? Sorry, guys, if y'all are um, wanting to listen to the conversation on my uh, on my little cutscene. You can listen to it on mine instead. Yeah. Yeah, you can. <sighs> All right, so you want to come to me when you're all ready. I'm at the bottom of the spaceport. Let's get out of this stink. Whatever the rest of drumming class is like, the air has got to be fresher than in here. We got our flashy new guild. Imperial intelligence. The counter guild to core world operations. I know, they're, they're amazingly original names. They can make life really hard. <clears throat> They're awesome. As we wait, let's do a little club dance. No, you were hot, hot. Come on, the Mandalorian Enclave is in the Citadel. Our contact. Kaleo's going. What are you doing, Agent? But it's it's dancing. But it's dancing, Kaleo. Right. I dance better than that. Oh shit. Oh snap. <clears throat> It's a throwdown. So is uh, Thryos ever going to come over? I don't know. I, I mean, they have alts. I don't think they will switch. That's okay. I'm never going back Republic again. I, yeah. I boycott. I boycotted. There's got to be some quid pro quo. If I get to level 36, level 37, I want them to get to level 37 here with me. Join the dark side. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's definitely, like, been playing my Jedi Knight while I was sick, which, by the way, guys, that means that I'm not going to be doing any more Jedi Knight Let's Play unless I make another character that's up to the level, because I was bored and played her while I was sick. But yeah, uh, their storyline is really straightforward, and I noticed they don't have a lot of, a lot of quests. We're going to Docking Bay D61, well, I guess that's the only mm -hmm. thing we can choose. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like, uh, like Tatooine. It, it was just very straightforward, whereas I just remember, you know, on the Imperial side, it was uh, just a lot more to do. The thing that Zerka found. Yeah. I found the same on, uh, on my trooper. It was lay boring. Like, Act 1 was pretty good when you were going after the bad guys, and then Spoilers, you get the bad guys. And then it's like, oh, super weapon, gotta stop it. And you're like, oh, all right. You see, there are these two bars. You gotta jump onto one. Oh, God. You're gonna fall. <laughs> no, you're gonna be fine. It's easy. Did you fall? No, <laughs> not this time. Thank you very much. It looked like you fell. It's like, oh, my God. Oh, I see it. I have been getting the Datacrons on, uh, on your, and Terrace was hell. It was so, so much pain on Terrace. I mean, it's great because she's level 50, she can stealth, we have a fast mount. <clears throat> but yeah. Yeah, I managed to find four on Seraphine on Terrace by herself. I was like, whoa, this is cool. So Wow. So you like when oh I guess I guess it would be different since I was an Empire and Seraphine is a Jedi. Yeah. And I do plan on guys recording the Doc uh, sequences. Just letting y'all know. So. Oh Doc. Such a letdown. It's like they wanted to like I don't know. Like, just from hearing, like, his sound files. Um, but we can fit a baby under those robes. Don't worry, I'll call it my cousin. I've done this before. It's like, really? It's Dude? Like, wow, thanks. Truly. True love. True love. True love. <laughs> I'm going to knock you up and lie about it. It's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it looks like me. Oh, my God. Body type three. He is not amused. No. Wait, where but, you know, am I going? <laughs> back up the you? elevator. Back up okay. the elevator. I lost you. <laughs> I'm still here. I'm tended to alt tab and turn up my volume because I'm so distraught that I can't even hear my game. Hang on. Okay, I'm going to alt tab and we all know what that means. It's going to stop the recording, so... I'll, I'll but I'll still be right here. Yeah, you she'll can still be here. here. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> do, 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 volume control. What's going on? Actually, we're going to pause this so we don't waste space. <clears throat> when you're ready to go again, you let me know and I'll start up the recording. Yeah, why is it so low? It's so weird. It's because it's split with Skype. I hope this isn't too loud. Okay. There we go. And then we hit up nine. Just start recording again. Once it loads back up. Hooray, we're recording once more. Just going through our mail. Keeper sent us a letter. And he's, uh giving us the lowdown on what happened with uh, Carol's Jarvis. You must remember him. He was on Hatta. He was the half cyborg working for Nemro. He wanted to introduce Sior to his sons. Well, apparently what he did is he broke aboard the hospital ship, Anodyne, and uh, took his son from the Imperials. And Keeper is going to give us an earful about this. But that's okay. We're a big girl. He loves us. We know what to say to him to make him happy. 
my game isn't loading. <laughs> you may need to restart. Yeah, the I'll, game. I'll be back. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Pausing again. Yeah, tonight's episode full of mail. But at least my volume's back. And we're back. And we're back. And yay, I can hear things. Okay. Come along. I'm coming. Oh, I need my head to find me. Luck smiles on me after all. I am Lieutenant Malohi of the Imperial Navy, and I require your services. At this moment, Lord Cross is meeting with the Minister of oh, War really? to make recommendations for our next moves against the Republic. I have prepared his reports, but he also desires a personal interview with someone involved Sounds in recent easy. fighting. A personal interview? Tell me where to find your lord, and I'll be on my way. <laughs> He's in the Citadel. Please proceed in a timely fashion. It is only with the insight and wisdom of the Sith that we can hope to win this war. There was a fun the conversation between Pierce and uh, the Sith warrior. And basically, he's all like, so, uh, Laurent, who was apparently his commanding officer, became a, or went from a lieutenant to a captain because she spent uh, an evening in the company of a very sadistic moth. And uh, she continues to spend nights with him when she wants stuff. Nice! <laughs> oh my god, you sent me so much! <laughs> wow. Okay, I'll have to like... Check that when we're at the city. So Do it in Ka City. Yeah. I got- I got a founder Sheesh, title. it's so dark. Let's see what time it is here. Oh, apparently it's always this gloomy. I'm Lovely. Welcome, all of you. Oh, so I'm Commander Keeper's Ryland. voice actor was in the Sith Inquisitor questline. Be and Grathen's Something estate, is the, up the cybernetics beasts, expert. Which makes the route between here and Cast City hazardous. If you let him Several live, individuals like, traveling on foot you, have you. disappeared. And I was like, you're adorable. <laughs> I've even had reports of jungle beasts attacking one. speeders. You might have need of me. Given the circumstances, I believe someone of your abilities is precisely what's needed. I dispatched two commando teams into the jungle to clear out the beasts, but they never returned. An emergency holo now message came through from Holocron. one of the team leaders. Number I'll two. play it for you. Repeat. Landing beacons are emitting some kind of energy. Power surges are driving the beasts mad. Oh, no. Can't get close enough to reroute power. Lost my team. Beasts closing in. Need reinforce. Oh no! Ah! <laughs> Sensors confirm unusual energy readings in the jungle. The spaceport's landing beacons appear to be the cause. Just tell me where to go. Thank you. A team as skilled as yours is exactly what's needed. <laughs> the spaceport's landing beacons are scattered throughout the nearby jungle. You'll need to reroute power on all of them. I'll track your progress from here. Return when you're done. Good luck. The jungle predators are fierce. So, we're gonna go down, we're gonna get this quest. Okay. Whenever we run through here, I always think we're running through a field of clover. Whee! Whee! First beacon rewired. Ooh, they're talking about ship mods. Hmm, buy your ship mods from your. <laughs> they're the best. Hello, gentlemen. Kind of an unusual place for a guard post, yes? Yes, sir, that it is. When the speeders were pulled off the line, people what are you gonna started to the jungle. What are you going to say when she says jungle. strange guard post? Of course you're going to say yes. Foot. 
Had a few deaths, some of them VIPs. Captain Tolto sent us to keep people out and poke around a bit, see what's out there. It's nice to see the Empire protecting its citizens. Yes. Some assignments are definitely better than others. You could be being managed eaten to take some data readings, even some out hollows. there patrolling. Big nasty critters out there. Nothing to mess with. Our runner, unfortunately, is down a leg from the experience. <clears throat> if you're headed back towards the spaceport, Why not could you give the speeder? observation disc to Captain Tolto? I can and will. Keep up the good work, men. Thank you. Such a good pep talk. Keep up the good work, men. Keep it up. Woohoo! Why is that? Because I'm a founder. Because you're a founder? Airless Onasi founder? I need to keep agent in my name. Do I have anything else? There's hired gun. Yeah, I'll be hired gun. I don't really like the other ones that we get. And then that one that we get at the end of chapter one. God, it's so freaking big. <laughs> Champion of the Great Hunt. You aggro people. Like this Just with that name here. alone. Dead man. He's grand champion of the great hunt. He is a dead man. He's so dead. Zombie man. Zombie man. Raw brain. Captain Tolto, I have the recognizance from your guard post in the jungle. Appreciate it, Agent. This is what I needed. I'll start moving to warn everyone off that path until we can get some full cleanup squads. <laughs> Minus one, Kaleo? Aww. Don't hate me, Kaleo. I friended you from that quest. Apparently you weren't my friend before, but now you are. Thank goodness for that. I know. Well, I'm to be friends with you, I mean, really. Aww. It's time for the pew pew thing. I'm not scared of you. Oh, bonus. Oh, I can scan it. Da -da -da -da. Scan it a dead thing. Your dielectric self might be mine. Mm. Doc will probably use that as a pickup line. Oh, oh baby, I want your your dielectric cell fiber. Are there any videos of Doc on YouTube? I don't know. I don't know. I'll put him up there. I'm, I don't know. You'll be first. I'll be first. Just like I think I was a uh, first for Torian also. <clears throat> I can't wait to have that baby that'll be my cousin. <laughs> Hear the excitement. Yeah. <clears throat> Come on, Cleo, you can tank better than this. I do apologize for the Adam fans that like him. I'm sorry, he's not my cup of tea. And just, I don't know. He'd stab you because he loves you. Uh, I can't hurt her. You can redeem him. Her. You can redeem him. <laughs> Alright, follow, follow me to our views. Kitty cat. Following. <clears throat> no. Hmm. 
<laughs> There's a cave. Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna. You're gonna cyber in the cave, except it's not really a cave anymore. Oh. Sorry, babes. No cybers. No cybers. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> the dolphins cannot resist. Oh, fail. Hooray! I would never know that this was here. That's why you have me. Presence improving our companions. Yay, they'll get better. Now jump off the side of the cliff. Whoa, my head. Okay. Off the side of the cliff? This side? The waterfall? No, I'm kidding. Don't really jump off. Oh. I was gonna do it. <laughs> I know. I love doing terrible things too in this game. It's so funny. I think that's. Don't forget to get this lore object. Okay. But there's all these dead Jawas around it. <laughs> they fought each other for the lore object. Oh. Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> Click. This giant raid comes out of the sand. I want to eat you. I was like, what the fuck? Splat. <laughs> so funny. I died in good fun. <clears throat> good times. I should probably show them that. That'd be hilarious. Well, I would need to find uh, new and unusual ways to kill you. Oh, I just meant to show them the, the thing that just pops up out of nowhere. But it's it's funnier though if you have someone like who's completely uh who doesn't know? Whoa, what is this Garden Dark Life Taker? I'm not scared of you. Oh my god, it's a leaf. Run. run. Just run. I ran by it. Oh shit, by my go. No. No. Meow, meow. Meow. What? Already? Yeah. Fast. You're not. I'm so slow. Club dance. Club dance. On a box. On a box. Imperial intelligence. Oxymoron. Oh. <laughs> join the conversation, airless god. You gonna join the conversation? There you are. <clears throat> Glad to see you all survived. The landing beacons appear to be functioning normally again, thanks to you. <clears throat> Analysis indicates they were deliberately sabotaged to drive oh boy, the jungle beasts insane. I am transmitting a full report to Car City. You've done the Empire a great service and earned this special recognition. Good day to you all. Can't wait to get out of this green Power Ranger costume. The green ranger was the best ranger. I agree. But still. To the cast city entrance. Where we can pick up some fun of exciting costume armor. Enjoy your stay. And a mouse droid. Cute, cute. Cute. We may already have a mouse droid. Oh, surprise, we have a mouse droid. Who would have guessed? Get 
some keybinds going. The wilds. Right behind you. Man, Westlaw, you make me so happy and excited to get an email. I think, ooh, someone wants to talk to me, but they're just like, no, get 400 points if you research cases right now at this moment. It's like, no, I'm not researching cases right now, sorry. <laughs> Busy. Playing tour. Yeah. Not doing law school homework. A second of your time, please. Oh, and you have colleagues. Unexpected, but no matter. Mind a 20. Yeah. Imperial intelligence. Don't you recognize me? Imperial Hello there, my friend. Your Hello new there, faces my friend. on Roman Cast. A unique group in a unique situation. Not that new. I need you to meet a man. Go where he says and Easily do what he asks. Easily done. <laughs> <laughs> but you must not question him. I've never played spy before. Tell me where to go. Oh, the man is named Commander. Life. And he is in a local cantina. Tell him the Lord of Sorrow sent you. Good luck. We will not speak again. He makes you cry because it hurts so good. Because you can't flirt with him. Sad face. I don't want to be hurt. Asteroid. It's Vishna. They're blue. Wow, Vishna. that must be the Citadel. That's the center of the universe as far as the Empire is concerned. How big do you think those flags are? Bigger than you, Mako. <laughs> it's true, she's tiny. She's a little baby. So is Kaleo. I'm surprised Kaleo's a little baby. I mean, she's all... I'm a tank, and... Well, she's supposed to be tiny, like very, very small, like under five foot. Really? Yep. I did not know that. It's in her bio. Knew a guy went to a Sith party once. He was the entertainment. Came back wrong. Had to put him down. This place is messed up. Oh, hey, I have a, a combo with Mingo. So this is pretty priceless. There's a ton of buzz in the net about someone breaking along, into Father's Kalea. place. Father has been throwing credits around to find out who did it. That no takers. Woot woot. Nemro's paying them to keep quiet. He's having way too much fun watching Father suffer. Nice to be able to keep tabs on things. You know, Brayden used to say I was unique for having this holonet link. No it makes me it. sad to think I've had this that uh, this formal Parents gear had me teched out as a baby. Is Awesome looking that. on Republic side. Maybe they were thinking no about your future. Matter. That's hard to imagine. The parents who abandoned me thinking about my future. Graydon was always encouraging me to for look the for Empire. my past. And I figured street kid from Narshada, what's to know? Now, gotta admit he was right. Oh god, it's the Illum music either. for switching nodes. It doesn't play each do time. Because <laughs> that would be awesome you if it find did. Out. You'd be like, switching right. no! For the Empire! I'll to Brayden. I'll check into it. Thanks. Really, I appreciate it. Hooray! <clears throat> oh, I didn't do my social thing. <clears throat> But yeah, social gear on, on this, it sucks. I like the dress. Looking to upgrade your arsenal? Mm-hmm. I don't know, you can... Good well, hunting. I really like the Hall of Score and Brotherhood set you get from Hoth. With the exception that it's all light armor. Everything is light armor. You'd think they'd have variants. Yeah. I want to I wanna be a Sith Juggernaut in the sleep bikini.
Nanda, the Lord of Sorrow sent me. Listen Sorrow. carefully. I can say this once. A Chiss security officer stands mm, at the back. Chiss. Hand him this gambling chip. He will give you a small item and further instructions. Now walk away casually. Like the Asari, except not. The other blue meat. Your poor throat. Yeah, it sucks. Before we finish this quest, now we can go use the speeder. Get to high command. Speak to Kipa. I get to watch in because I'm like an honorary member of Imperial Intelligence. You're in Imperial Intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm undercover. It's true. You have probably been acquisitioned. <laughs> Enjoy your Sequestered to Imperial Intelligence. <laughs> Where are you going? Imperial Intelligence. Isn't that what I picked? You probably picked the middle one. I did. We're going there too, it's you. okay. I'll fly over there. Or no, I'll just run over there. I don't know what's faster. Hmm. think the location. Indeed. What do you think they want? I don't know. When you get a summons from Imperial Intelligence, you don't ask questions. Okay, lazy. Sitting down. Your feet can't be hurting yet. We barely started. I'm so tired. No, no, yes. no. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Oh. Commander Dorn, I was with your daughter several days ago. She's doing well. She's sorry she left. <laughs> Actually, she doesn't care that she left. She thinks it's better that she did. It must be about that customer last week. I knew it. Nobody buys that much ration paste unless they're up to something. And who sold him all that ration paste, huh? Eh? Same person who hid a tracer in the box. Slice droid and diagnostic scan. I'll right, take it back. When they call us in, you should ask if that's I hate that. <laughs> I hate that ability. Welcome to Imperial Intelligence. It's so lovely to be. Darth Jadis, are you ready to be inoculated? Oh god, that sounds so sexy. This is not your domain, Keeper. It is mine. It has always been mine. Of course, my lord. All you have built here, all you hope to control, it falls apart as easily as a human life. An hour ago, the Minister of Intelligence dropped to his knees and wept before me. You would do so too, if not for fear of being humiliated. Your dissatisfaction is clear, my lord. It will be remedied. Now I'm asking you humbly to leave. These people are suffering in your presence. I will I leave you. my domain at the moment of my choosing, Keeper. You, Agent. You were the one sent to Hutter. Is that correct? Why do I feel like I'm about to die? Your body reacts to the power of the Force. The dark side twists you, taints you. I am Darth Jadus. You served me well in your dealings with Nemro. You will serve me well again. Taint. How do you mean, exactly? 
All will become clear in time. Keeper, you will use this one. She will complete the assignment as I have instructed. She's quite capable, my lord, but she lacks experience. A more seasoned agent. I have made my decision. I wish the situation resolved before I leave Drummond Kass. See to it that my will is done. Very well. I'll make arrangements. Oh dear. Congratulations, Agent. You've made a friend on the Dark Council. I don't envy you. Believe me, sir. It wasn't by choice. I imagine not, but there's nothing to be done about it now. I want you outfitted and ready to leave as soon as possible. Grab your equipment from the lockers and meet me in my office. Once we're through with your debriefing, we'll discuss your next mission. That's, uh, that's Keeper's way of saying, you did bad. Don't do it again. Whoops. There can be no such thing as mercy. So let's get our gear. Let's go talk to Keeper. Oh, Keeper. From this teeny tiny equipment locker. Where all her possessions in the world are stored. And you only ever really use it once. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right? SLV <clears throat> 16 Serum. Hmm. <laughs> the start of a long legacy of brainwashing and mind control. Uh-oh. Come in, Agent. Let's talk. Kaleo, wait outside, please. One of the watchers will handle your debriefing. We need to talk about my terms. I promise you, you'll be well compensated. You can discuss the details with the Watcher. If you say so. You two have a good time. So, Not happy. I've been reviewing the report of your activities on Hutter. You were busier than I'd expected. Are you going to tell me what Darth Jadis wanted? This is a debriefing. I'll ask the <laughs> questions. You're extremely effective in your mission. However, you took unnecessary risks in order to avoid violence. You are soft, Agent. There's no room for inefficiency here. We're not on missions of mercy, so I need to know. Why did you join Imperial Intelligence? I joined to serve the Empire and its people. Idealistic sentiments. A pity in some ways. You may find yourself disappointed. This isn't glamorous work. We're sanitation workers. We clean up after the military and the Sith and do the jobs no one else will. Without us, though, the Empire falls apart. So we do whatever is necessary, even if it's thankless and ugly. You understand? I understand completely, sir. I'm glad to hear it. Now as to your next assignment. One of the mandates of our organization is to eliminate dissidents and terrorists within the Empire. We've located one cell of radicals here in the capital working toward the violent overthrow of our government. We must know precisely what these terrorists plan. I assume this is the task Darth Jadis mentioned? Although Darth Jadis has expressed concern over the cell's activities, your orders come from me. We've intercepted chatter suggesting the radicals are planning a major attack soon, but we've only identified a handful of cell members. You will investigate the cell and obtain its plans. You'll have two operatives assisting you and full support from the Citadel. Who will I be working with? Watcher 2, please come to my office. Bring Kaleo Danis with you. You meet Watcher 1, which guy might play through. Oh. Watcher 2, huh? That's a pretty name. Is it Twi'lek? It's basic. Unlike many civilizations, the Empire teaches its children how to count. Watcher 2 reporting, sir. Kaleo will be your aide in the field. She'll report to you and take your orders since you seem able to handle her. I'm making you look good, Agent. You should be grateful. Meanwhile, Watcher 2 will be your liaison to base. She'll stay in contact remotely and provide you with mission details. I monitored the operation on Hutter. Very impressive. I look forward to working with you. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get along fine. So what do you do here? I analyze. I watch. I try to live up to my title. 
Watcher 2 is one of our finest analysts, a success from the government eugenics programs. Her brain is faster than most computers. Our primary lead on the radicals is at the site of a slave rebellion beyond Kars City. You've been outfitted with all necessary equipment already. Once you're in the field, signal me via holo communicator and I'll brief you in full. I'll head out immediately. Remember you're not undercover. Identify yourself as an intelligence officer if you need to, and use the fear that it creates. You're on Imperial soil now, Agent. Welcome home. It's good to be home, sir. Thank you. Welcome home. Now we get to speak to the Watchers. Actually, one moment. We are? Agent. And pleased to see you, of course. But I thought you'd be busy with the mission. Just as well, I suppose. I'm still plotting the details. So, what can I do for you? I figure if we're working together, we should get to know one another. I already know all about you, though. I saw your whole performance on Hutter. If we talked and shared, you'd be the only one learning from the exchange. And that wouldn't really be fair now, would it? Well, you already learned about her, so technically it is fair. I can't tell if you're kidding or not. Probably for the best. You don't need to understand me. Just let me be the voice in your head, and I'll tell you where you need to go. Too many voices now, there already. Now we've both got work to do. Contact me via holo communicator when you're on site and ready to go, okay? We'll talk about this more another time. Agreed. Goodbye, Agent. Everyone says that with such finalities that they'll never see her again. Watcher 2, you have a lot to answer for. A lot. Uh -oh. As you have seen. Time to talk to Lodent Kashar. You kaki mem panino. Am kabina pek mem no kimgam. Um no ino mem no. Am kakam mem perolak palak. What is it you do around here? Whatever is required. The truth is, we need all the help we can get. I like how the third option was alien scum. Memuapemgwana. <laughs> Twelve. <coughs> You're the new blood? Hmm. We'll see if you work out. I used to be a field operative, same as you. Now I'm a fixer. I keep this place running. Why'd you stop working in the field? Wasn't by choice. I was a good agent until a Jedi shoved a lightsaber through my lungs. That service. That sacrifice. People here will tell you that the so Sith interfere with our work. Keep us always fighting anyway. with the Minister of Intelligence, that sort of thing. Maybe they're right, but it doesn't matter. Our job's to obey orders. Our job's to deal with the enemy. And who do you consider to be our enemy? The Empire has a lot of enemies. The Republic and Jedi first up. We should focus on getting them, not fighting one another. Remember that, and maybe you'll last longer than most new agents. I'm gonna outlast all of them. I'll try to keep it all in mind. 
Good choice. Be careful out there. What a story. It's so good. And now for the last of the Watchers, Watcher 3. Hello. Sorry, I, uh, I didn't expect you to come over. You're the field agent from Hutter, right? I'm, I'm, I'm the scapegoat for this entire operation. Is there some sort of problem? Mm -hmm. Am I bothering you? Sorry. That's why I'm here instead of in the field. Not so good with people. Surprised I even got a Watcher designation. If I can manage it, I'm sure you'll get a title soon. How many Watchers are there, anyway? Only Keeper knows for sure. I've never met a Watcher with a designation higher than four. Watcher 1's on assignment right now, so it's just me and Watcher 2 here. Anyway, I should get back to work. I'm on surveillance duty and I don't want to miss anything. Good man. Make sure that you don't. Of course. I won't keep you. So, what is Watcher 1 doing then, Lady Wind? Um, he is, uh... On Paris, and he's uh, trying to uh, track down a doctor. Oh, really? What yes. doctor? Oh, shit. I don't remember the name, but he's vital to the story. Um, and Terrace. Um, Do you kill him? You have the choice to kill Watcher One. Oh, but you didn't, because you're a good hearted Jedi, right? Of course. And he was voiced by Cullen. How could I kill him? <laughs> oh, baby. The night captain. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, you're staying alive. Alright, where to now? We're gonna go to my my place. Is it the Mandalorian Enclave? Yes, ma'am. Actually we're just gonna run, we're gonna go in the middle, we're gonna speak to Lord Cross. One day we'll get sprint. One day. Mm -hmm. Two levels. Oh, hey. Gotta be buffed. Mm -hmm. Gotta be buff, man. You so buff. The strongest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Lord Lothar. I always think of Lothar when I see that. I think Prince Lothar from Ultron. I think Anduin Lothar from Warcraft. They're scared of you here, aren't they? You come, you go. You're the freaking secret police. Mm. Now you see me. Now you don't. Oh, where'd you go? It's funny, I was um, on Milsavis and I had the mouse droid out and I was stealth. There were these two other uh, guys in the area, but they couldn't My see Lord, me for I some have reason, reason just the mouse droid. And the they're Republic. like, what's this droid doing out Thank here you. all by itself? Do I have the honor of addressing an entire group of the heroes that captured the They just kept following star? it around. It was Tell me, quite bizarre. What were your impressions of the Republic forces you fought? And I ran them around circles, um, around the pillars. The Jedi leaders fight exceptionally well, but the enlisted men don't measure up to our own. They spread themselves too thin, recruit too many to defend too much that is strategically worthless. I thank you for your insight in these reports. If you'll excuse me, I must study them before giving the Minister of War his marching orders. Silly Kodio. <laughs> Jaden. Jaden. Lots of interesting names. 
have none that have like... flagged me like sweet pants boner. But he has a sweet pants. Uh, uh, Where are you going? Away. Why you go away? I'm scared. I'm hiding. You no. can't see me. You can't see me. You can't see me. I can't see you. Where'd you go? Hello. Hmm. They're talking about dinosaur love in general chat. That's crazy. Rar means I love you. Scales. Rar. Too many scales. I love them. Itchy. It's good for exfoliating. <laughs> not, not so much. The stubble, oh, it's so painful, makes the chin so red. Yeah. So raw. Like Rubs the skin the off. Face. Even with the shaving, oh, with the pain. Oh, yeah. We have sensitive skins. As That's when you'd be like, stop kissing so hard. Usada Buha? No. <laughs> Why even suggest that? God. I know. Okay, ready one, two, we. If it's not rough, it is in love. Oh, dang. Oh, mm -mm 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 -mm. my favorite lady ever. <laughs> and then I told him, You think that's cold? You should see what I did to Is the Is she the one who wants Mandalore's babies? I never saw babies. Rodian run yeah. so fast in Yeah, it's amazing. Oh. Sorry, sweetie, didn't see you there. What can I do for you? We are here for the Great Hunt. We've been sponsored by Nemro the Hut. An all-girls hunter team. Good for you. How long you two been partners? Forever. Feels like Mako's always been there to back me up. Fantastic. It's she rare to see that to kind Mako. of solidarity in our business, you know? <laughs> You probably ain't gonna like what I'm about to tell you, but there's nothing I can do about it, understand? There's one spot left open in the Great Hunt, and over three dozen hunters who got sponsorships. Maybe that sounds like uh, you I didn't do your just planning very up, well. Of course not, but life's about to get a bit crazy. You best be ready. The Huntmaster himself will explain how we're going to sort things out. Head into the main room and show some respect. When the Huntmaster's done talking, come on back in here. I'll be handling you from here on out. I wonder if you can flirt with her as a male bounty hunter. I'd do it. <laughs> I don't know. Quiet! Quiet, you dogs! The Huntmaster is about to speak. Pay attention and show some respect for once oh. in your lives. Oh. Oh. <laughs> noises. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you heard the Huntmaster. You're competing for the last spot in the Great Hunt by taking down three bounties on Droman Koss. You expect us yeah. to hunt here, with Imperials crawling all over us, and Sith? Let the man talk. I want to hear this. Whoa. For all you overblown, useless, no-talent cowards, we installed a handy exit door. Use it now! The rest of you, the real hunters, go see your handlers. They'll get you oriented to the planet and assign you three unique bounties. Everyone who takes down all three of their bounties wins a spot in the final melee. Anyone who doesn't get all three is out. Hunting on Drummond Koss? That's suicide. I'm grabbing the first shuttle out of here. I suggest you do the same, friend. I went into the Great Hunt, and this is the only way. Then watch your back. It's not the jungles that are dangerous on Draman Kaz, it's the people. I'm done here. May your quarry fall before you, Hunter. Do you ever see him oh, no. again? What are you standing no. around for? Back to your handler. Quick call. That's Krista for you, new blood. Thank or you, call. 
Mr. Bloom. Mr. Bloom. Steve Bloom. See you, space cowboy. <clears throat> a dozen cowards just scurried out of here. It Probably only looked about three. Roman cows is light years behind him. You understand the basics, right? Three bounties, hardest targets on Droman cars. Gotta get all three to qualify Boy, for I the hope final melee. Sith. Those are pretty hard to kill. This is the best job in the galaxy. Like the Emperor. Ooh, I like the you. The hardest target on You're Droman cars. You're even crazier than the rest of these hunters. Now let's see who your first target is. Whoa, this can't be right. You got enemies among the Mandalorians or something? Just Taro Blood, the Mandalorian who killed Brayden. What do you do? I'm getting used to having the cards stacked against me. I wouldn't wish this bounty on anybody. Gotta play the hand you're dealt, though. The target's a Republic noble named Valtaka. He got captured during an Imperial raid, brought back here, and sold into slavery by mistake. Why well, was selling him into slavery a mistake? He should have been ransomed, but Altaka wasn't properly identified when he got captured. Altaka's slave group was building a big old statue in the jungle. The slaves rebelled and took over the site. Nobody can get in there. We don't even know if he's still alive. If he is, the family will pay big. Easy jobs bore me. You've got confidence. I give you that. The slaves got themselves a tent camp near that statue they never finished. If Altaka's still kicking, he's probably somewhere in there. Before you go, meet your new best friend. The S86K Full Gauge Carbonite Armor Upgrade. Mm, you can't me. shoot a fella with this while he's springing around. It's too slow to charge up. But once that fella ain't resisting, say, after a good long beating, the S86K will freeze him for transport. I do love getting new toys. I expect you'll have plenty of chances to play with that one. You find that Republic noble me. fella and claim that first bounty, <laughs> then hurry it on back here as fast as you can. Hooray. Hooray. We've got toys. And a mission. Life is good. And you got a handler. I have two of them. That makes me superior. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the Darth. Oh man. But you do have a pretty badass chick. She is pretty badass. I love her. I hope she does find a nice big burly Mandalorian to have babies with. I'm sure there's fan fiction out there. That's all I like. And then Krista and the Mandalore. Tor the Tor kink meme go. <sighs> There's two of them. <laughs> there have been no fills yet. Destination. <laughs> Enjoy your stay. I'm I am still working on on like my five or six some piece. It's gonna take a while. You can do it. Right behind you. When I finish the other fill, which I haven't finished yet, which I need to do. But I probably may never get to it. Oh, life, why you give me other things to do other than play games and write fan fiction? No kidding. God. This thing, <clears throat> this thing called life just jumps in my way and it's like, no! It's so unfair. Hey, it's Ryoko. Ryoko and Makami. Oh, oh Ryoko and Makami. Let's oh, talk to the friendly Wang writes in. Seven brutal bloody murders. Seven. And the killer is allowed to walk free. Decent, law-abiding citizens, loyal servants of the Emperor are being slaughtered. And what do our security forces Watch. do? Nothing. I've seen the killer <laughs> myself. But the authorities say and I don't laugh. have enough proof. I demand justice. Ooh, you sound really important. <laughs> I must be her. I'm the only He's one the who knows the truth. Guy. Several days yeah. ago, I spotted a bounty hunter following people seemingly at random, but Listen to pointing me, I a talk strange loud. device at them. 
captured. The descriptions of the murder victims in. exactly match the people the hunter was following. He's behind these brutal killings. I know it. That doesn't seem likely. No. I know what I saw. I, I made no mistakes. I'm sure of it. I followed the killer this morning. Saw the filthy alien skulking into the Mandalorian enclave. Someone called him by name, Renegan. This bounty hunter must learn the Empire doesn't tolerate alien scum like him killing its citizens. He needs to be punished. No, you. Oh, my. <clears throat> now we get to talk to the chess. Oh, baby. Saganu! Love you! I have a gambling chip for you. And I have a package for you. Do not open it. Better if you don't even look, look at, at it. You instead. There is an NK line droid. I'll show you where to find it. The package goes there. Long live mm -hmm. the Emperor. Long live indeed. Chiss honor. The embodiment of the red flame. <laughs> <laughs> you embody the red flame. Which is good because it's cold on Hoth. Yeah. Need the red flame to keep warm. Apparently the world is a lot like Hoth. Just Chisla or Chisra, whatever they're from. Scylla. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. I knew it started with C. <laughs> <laughs> you brought the bright check. <laughs> started with a C in two syllables. <laughs> There's a C in there and an S and I think a double L and an I and an A. <laughs> but not in that order. Oh. Ready for departure. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> Yes, they live underground, it's so cold. But they're just, you know, evolved from humans anyway. And the reason their eyes are red are because of the mineral this is in the soil around them. But then they did develop very unique voice boxes. That's how you can have those crazy names. Mm -hmm. I've got a shuttle to catch. You mind getting out of my way? You've been a bad boy, Renegan, murdering <laughs> innocent citizens. No, hold on. I never killed anybody who didn't have it coming. You've been listening to Wrightson. Great. Listen. Convince 